Hello and welcome back to another Hunger Games video. Next up in sequel month is a Terraria sequel. So if you don't know what's actually going on, I'm doing a sequel month where every month I'm having a sequel of a theme that I already have instead of having new themes just for this month though. So this is the second one. So I have two more to go after this and then I'll start doing, you know, more new themes, things like that. Um, so you can comment below uh, any themes you want to see sequels of or you can comment below any themes that you just want to see in general or characters. Things like that. Make sure to comment that below. And um, so yeah, if you don't know how this works at all, then I put these characters into the simulation and whoever lasts the longest is the winner. There are also events and the events are just things that can happen and a lot of people die in the event. And there's a chance of no events happening, a chance of all the events happening because I have three events. And um, yeah, there's a lot of people die or things like that. So yeah, the Terraria theme, just like the theme of the you know, um, <laughs> Hunger Games. So anyways, let's just get to the contestants, actually. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. So we have, in District 1, the Arapima. So first we have all the returning contestants, and Arapima actually won the last one. So we, of course, we're bringing Arapima back. Then we have the Almighty Tim. That is right. Almighty Tim is back. Um, he wasn't that almighty last time. Hopefully he could be even more mighty, and um, then he could win this thing. Then we got Goblin Tinkerer. Look at that majestic Goblin Tinkerer. He didn't win last time, but I'm, I'm confident he could do it this time. Then we got the King Slime. This is a different photo from last time. I can't find that photo. And um, this is an extremely realistic version of King Slime. He had a little upgrade, I guess. Then we have Walking Goldfish. The army has returned. They may have looked like they have died out to an infection, but there's always a remainder that survives and repopulates the entire walking goldfish army, and that is what happened. Now they are back and stronger than ever. Then the final returning person is Duke Fishron, and um, he got second place. He got so close. He didn't win it, though. Now um, now it's his chance. Let's get to some new contestants. So in District 4, we have Dirtfish. Look at that freaking Dirtfish. He's, he's the best fish in the game. I'm sorry, walking goldfish. Then there's the Traveling Merchant. Don't ask why the Traveling Merchant is Temmie. And now we have a few um, suggested people. So we have a few characters that were actually suggested in the comments. So remember, once again, suggest characters in the comments and I'll, you know, add them. So we have Fancy Zombie. Now, it was it was the suggestion was just a zombie. But I, I said, let's just fancy it up a little bit with a fancy zombie. The next suggested person is Blue Slime. And um, yeah, he's like King Slime, but... He's not a king. He hasn't reached that level yet. Then there's the Wall of Flesh, which was actually an event in the last one. I don't think it actually happened, though. I said it as an event, but it never happened. But, um, so yeah, now we have the Wall of Flesh here, though. And, um, yeah, he, he's like the last pre-hard mode boss, so he's pretty strong. And the final suggested person is the Hungry. He's just the things that shoot out of the Wall of Flesh. Um, he may look like he can't do much damage, but you never know. Then in District 7... We have Mothra. That's right. Actually, Mothra is in the game. I forgot the actual name of the character in the game. but um, Or the monster, whatever the frick it is. But yeah, it can happen during a solar eclipse, I'm pretty sure. But now we got the Mothra. Then we got Harpy. Um, that, that's, like, that's such a weird drawing. The Harpy is also one of the most annoying creatures in this entire game. Then there is the Kamehameha Golem. Uh, yeah, he's a golem that does Kamehameha. At least is what it normally looks like. And there's a, a normal golem, like the boss. Then there is the Truffle. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's an amazing, he's an amazing NPC. He's definitely probably the best NPC. He's a freaking mushroom. Then we got an Angler, which is another NPC. He sells the fish, which I couldn't really find a, a photo that actually worked in this system. And, um, for some reason, this photo popped up of a red arrow pointing to this weird baby thing. I don't know what that is, but I, I I don't know. It popped up for some reason. Then in District 10, we have Grubby. And, well, Grubby is one on the bottom, the purple one. But I can't find a picture of just Grubby. It looks like a good picture. So, um, yeah, I guess Grubby has a Sluggy and a Buggy to help him out. Then there is a Golden Squirrel. I guess the Golden Squirrel is also a cyborg. Then there's Baby Penguin. I tried so hard to find an actual picture of the Baby Penguin. I couldn't really find it. So um, now we got Skipper from Madagascar. Then there's the giant bunny. Looks like the bunny from last time uh, grew a lot. Then we got a crawdad. And then the final contestant we have is Toxic Sludge. Now we will start the battle of the Terraria Hunger Games. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. 
Gollum clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Traveling Merchant runs away from the cornucopia. He's trying to find people to sell things to. He's selling Demi Flakes. Duke Fishon runs away from the cornucopia. Duke Fishon wants to try to actually get first this time. Fancy Zombie grabs a backpack, not realizing it is empty. Yeah, he is a zombie. He doesn't really have a brain. Oh, he probably has a lot of brains, right? If he eats people, he gets a lot of brains or something, right? I don't know. I don't know how zombies work. Truffle scares Goblin Tinker away from the cornucopia. Don't you dare scare Goblin Tinker. I mean, I can't blame him. That you're you're a walking mushroom. That that could be a little freaky sometimes. Blue slime scares Tim away from the cornucopia. Blue slime, you may think that you scared Tim, but the Tim. It's just faking. You can't scare an almighty Tim. The Hungry runs away from the cornucopia. A golden squirrel scares Arapaima away from the cornucopia. So the winner of last time just got scared by a freaking golden squirrel. Wall of Flesh runs away from the cornucopia. Mothra finds a bag full of explosives. And Harpy throws a knife into walking goldfish's head. So Harpy just threw a knife and hit every single goldfish's head and killed them all. Once again, the race of goldfish is, has been defeated, but um, I'm pretty sure they won't be dead for long. Toxic Sludge breaks Giant Bunny's nose for a basket of bread. That's animal abuse, Toxic Sludge. How dare you do that? Dirt Fish runs away from the cornucopia, or flops away, swims away, wh whatever it does. Kamehameha Gollum runs away from the cornucopia, getting ready to Kamehameha people. Angler shoots an Arab baby penguin, but misses and kills King Slime and said, my boy King Slime. I mean, I guess I'm glad that that Skipper didn't die as he can still now stop racism. Crawdad takes a handful of throwing knives. I don't know how well you're going to do with throwing those knives, Crawdad. I don't think you're going to do that good of a job. And Grubby receives a trident from inside the cornucopia. A trident's actually something in the game. This makes sense. How is he going to grab it, though? Angler travels to higher ground. Kamehameha Gollum sprains his ankle while running away from Blue Slime. Kamehameha Gollum, just Kamehameha the Blue Slime into pieces. You're, you can so easily do that. Tim strangles Duke Fishron after engaging in a fist fight. Duke Fishron, you have to be stupid to engage in a fist fight when you don't even have fist, especially one with the Almighty Tim. Arapaima, Gollum, traveling merchant, and a golden squirrel raid Harpy's camp while she is hunting. I'm sorry, but that's like the most pathetic looking team I've ever seen in my entire life. Fancy Zombie, Grubby. What the fr- F Fancy Zombie, Grubby, The Hungry, Wall of Flesh, and Mothra hunt for other tributes. The Wall of Flesh and The Hungry are working together. Toxic Sludge steals from Giant Bunny while he isn't looking. Toxic Sludge, what, what, what is up with you and this Giant Bunny? Didn't you just break the Giant Bunny's nose two seconds ago or something like that? And now you're stealing from him? Baby Penguin searches for firewood. Dirtfish runs away from the Goblin Tinkerer. I guess Dirtfish is pretty scared of the Goblin Tinkerer. I mean, if, if I was just a fish made out of dirt, I'd probably be scared of pretty much anything. Crawdad tries to sleep through the entire day, and Truffle searches for firewood. Monkey Mutts fill the arena. Not again! It's been so long before I messed this up. D I... Hmm. So yeah, so th this is an event. And, um, I, I guess I made a mistake, and it's, it's not a Terraria one. Are there even monkeys in the game? Is there any way for this to make any sense? Screw it, let's just, let's just go with it. Uh, Traveling Merchant injures a blue slime and leaves him for the monkey mutts. Blue slime's getting eaten by freaking monkey mutts. How could this happen? There aren't even supposed to be freaking monkey mutts. The Hungry survives. Kamiyami Golem survives. Giant Bunny survives. Harpy also survives. Goblin Tinkerer dies from an internal bleeding caused by a monkey mutt. For some reason, I thought it said monkey butt. I was like, that's what the frick. Also, poor Goblin Tinkerer. Fancy zombie survives. The almighty Tim survives. Gollum uses Crawdad as a shield from the monkey mutts. Hold up. So is Crawdad dead? Why, why is he being used as a shield? <laughs> Angler dies from internal bleeding caused by a monkey mutt. Baby Penguin injures Mothra and leaves her for the Monkey Mutts. This big freaking Mothra just died to freaking Skipper. Dirtfish survived. The monkeys have spared the Dirtfish. Toxic Sludge dies from internal bleeding caused by a Monkey Mutt. Do you even have blood? I feel like you just have sludge. Like, that's it. That's all you are. While running, Grubby falls over. Okay. 
I don't know how Grubby would fall over and how he's running. And grabs, how, how, do, you, how do you grab, you, you, what? Uh, truffle on the way down, and the monkey mutts kill them. That didn't make any sense, but rip, Grubby and Truffle. Arapaima survives. Arapaima ain't dying to no freaking monkey mutt. She wants to win two in a row. Why don't she be the first one to be, win two in a row? A golden squirrel dies from internal bleeding caused by a monkey mutt. Guess monkeys don't like squirrels very much, especially golden ones. And the wall of flesh survives. Twelve cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Walking goldfish, king slime, duke fish run, blue slime, goblin tinkerer, crawdad, angler, mothra, toxic sludge, grubby, truffle, and a golden squirrel. That's a lot of freaking deaths. Gollum bashes the hungry's head in with a mace. Wall of flesh, traveling merchant, and Kamehameha Gollum sleep in shifts. I think Traveling Merchant is truly just, just in this entire Hunger Games simulation just to sell stuff. He just wants to make some profit, not realizing that there's a chance of his death. And Arapaima goes to sleep. Fancy Zombie thinks about winning. Fancy Zombie, you could win if you truly believe in yourself, because you are a Fancy Zombie. Baby Penguin and Tim huddle for warmth. Baby Penguin, I don't know if I would do that. The almighty Tim may kill you, you don't know. Dirt Fish and Giant Bunny run into each other and decide to choose for the night. And Harpy thinks about winning. Hopefully Harpy doesn't win. You're so freaking annoying. Baby Penguin diverts Fancy Zombie's attention and runs away. Baby Penguin's like messing with him. He knows that the Fancy Zombie is way too slow to actually be able to catch up. Wall of Flesh begs for Tim to kill him. He refuses, keeping Wall of Flesh alive. Maybe Tim. I think Tim needs Wall of Flesh. I'm sorry. I think the almighty Tim needs Wall of Flesh to be alive to help him out later on. I'm pretty sure he has this entire thing planned. He knows what he's doing. Giant Bunny collects fruit from a tree. Arapaima questions his sanity. Don't question your sanity, Arapaima. You're here to win for a second time. Okay, you can do this. Kamehameha Gollum sprains his ankle while running away from Dirtfish. Kamehameha Gollum, why, why are you running away from a, a Dirtfish? Gollum receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Traveling Merchant poisons Harpy's drink. She drinks it and dies. At least Harpy is not out of this entire thing. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. The Hungry and Harpy. Giant Bunny tries to treat his infection. Giant Bunny, don't get an infection on me right now. I, maybe a toxic sludge did this. Did this toxic sludge give you an infection before he died? Traveling Merchant accidentally steps on a landmine. <gasps> Dirt Fish tends to his wounds. The Almighty Tim is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. You must just create a fire out of existence. Just out of nothing, just bam, a fire there. Gollum fends Fancy Zombie, Arapaima, and Wall of Flesh away from his fire. Kamehameha Gollum receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. And Baby Penguin thinks about home. The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Gollum decides not to go to the feast. Giant Bunny, Dirtfish, Fancy Zombie, and Tim team up to grab food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. I think these are the last of the majestic people, and now it seems like they're on a team. This is amazing. Arapaima gathers as much food into a bag as he can before fleeing. Arapaima wants to freaking win this again. He's getting all the supplies. Wall of Flesh decides not to go to the feast. Kamehameha Gollum sobs while gripping a photo of his friends and family. Um, Bay Penguin gathers as much food into a bag as he can before fleeing. He does the same thing as the Arapaima. Bay Penguin knows what to do to win this thing. Arapaima receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Wall of Flesh steals from Kamehameha Gollum's while he isn't looking giant bunny makes a slingshot i don't know how you're gonna use that giant bunny like you, you're not you're not able to actually use a slingshot Gollum travels the higher ground dirt fish practices his archery and baby penguin tends to fancy zombies wounds there's gonna be a lot of wounds and the almighty tim dies from hypothermia you should have just spawned a fire out of existence Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. The traveling merchant and the almighty Tim. Fancy Zombie tries to treat his infection. Fancy Zombie, I'm pretty sure you have like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of infections. Kamehameha Gollum is unable to start a fire and sleep without warmth. Gollum strangles Giant Bunny after engaging in a fist fight. Giant Bunny, why are you in a fist fight? Why, why, would, why would you even do that? Arapaima tends to baby 
penguin's wounds. Dirt fish tends to his wounds. And the wall of flesh tries to treat his infection. Here's another case where, from the looks of it, it looks like you have a lot of infections going on. Gollum hunts for other tributes. Kamiya Gollum and Baby Penguin track down and kill Fancy Zombie. See, wasn't Baby Penguin helping the Fancy Zombie earlier? See, this is what I'm talking about. Baby Penguin now knew the freaking location of the Fancy Zombie, and him and Kamiya Gollum teamed up to kill him. How could you let this happen, Fancy Zombie? I know you don't have a brain because you're a zombie, but like, seriously though, will Skipper do the same for Arapema? Speaking of Arapema, Arapema questions his sanity. Arapema keeps on questioning his sanity. Just don't question your sanity. You won this before. You already know how to do this. You could be the first person ever to win more than one Hunger Games and the first person ever to win two in a row. So um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't mess this up. And Wall of Flesh hunts for other tributes and Dirt Fist searches for firewood. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Giant Bunny and Fancy Zombie. Arapema sets up camp for the night. Baby Penguin and Kamehameha Gollum huddle for warmth. Kamehameha Gollum, you just saw what happened to the freaking the zombie. So you, you're just you're doing the same thing that that the zombie fell for. How could you? Kamehameha Gollum, I thought you were smarter than this. Dirt Fish thinks about home. He's either thinking of like an ocean or a lake or he's just thinking of dirt. Wall of Flesh bashes Gollum's head in with a mace. That doesn't sound very, very, very nice. Dirt Fish explores the arena. Wall of Flesh thinks about home. Yes, home. It's so nice. It's, it's freaking hell. Arapema and Kamehameha split to search for resources. Think of it now. Maybe Kamehameha wasn't stupid for uh, huddling with warmth. Uh, was that English? Um, you know, with uh, Baby Penguin. Maybe Kamehameha wasn't that stupid. Maybe he's actually trucing with Baby Penguin. And now Kamehameha is going to try to kill Arapema with Baby Penguin. Same thing that Baby Penguin did to... Um, you know, the, the fancy zombie. So, you know what? I may I may have been wrong. I think they're working together. I think Arapema is kind of shrewd in this case. Baby Penguin explores the arena. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Gollum. Arapema and Kamehameha Gollum huddle for him. See, I think I'm right. I'm pretty sure Kamehameha Gollum and Baby Penguin are actually working together. And Kamehameha Gollum is just finding out the location of Arapema. Dirtfish, Baby Penguin, and Wall of Flesh sleep in shifts. Dirtfish, so you're so innocent. Don't don't be in a team of these two menacing people. Dirtfish and Kamehameha work together for a day. Now Kamehameha is freaking trying to location of Dirtfish. Maybe Kamehameha is just teaming with everyone. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Arapaima discovers a river. That's good. That's good Arapaima because you, you kind of need that to live. And Wall of Flesh falls into a frozen lake and drowns. How did you fall into a frozen lake? And Baby Penguin hunts for other tributes. Baby Penguin's once again looking for his next victim. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. Wall of Flesh. Arapema tends to his wounds. Baby Penguin stays awake all night. Kamehameha Gollum screams for help. And Dirtfish thinks about winning. Dirtfish, you could do it. I believe in you. So let's look at who we have left. We have Arapema, who could be the first person to win more than one Hunger Games. And could also be the first person to win two in a row. We also have Baby Penguin, who could win this thing to stop racism. We also have Kamehameha Gollum, which could possibly actually Kamehameha everyone out of existence. And we also have a Dirtfish, probably the, the underdog of this entire thing. Because he's a freaking fish made out of dirt. But that, that ain't stopping him from thinking about winning. Arapema stalks Baby Penguin. See, now Arapema is trying to kill Baby Penguin. Baby Penguin, uh, I th think you should have probably killed Arapema before. That might that might be your mistake in this. And Kamehameha Gollum camouflaged himself in the bushes. You're, you're not going to camouflage yourself very well, Kamehameha Gollum. And Dirtfish falls into a pit and dies. Well, I said that, you know, like him being the underdog couldn't stop him from winning. But falling into a pit and dying sure does. And now it looks like Arapema actually has a really good chance being the first person to win more than one Hunger Games. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance. A dirt fish. Arapema thinks about home. To be honest, Arapema didn't really do much. I feel like he, all he did was question his sanity, think about home, or like just get a bunch of stuff. Like, I feel like he didn't do much in this entire thing. And Kamehameha Gollum convinces Baby Penguin to snuggle with him. Arapema looks like he's in trouble being as... Uh, you know, there's there two other people who are most likely against him. Arapema diverts Baby Penguin's attention and runs away. And Kamehameha Gollum falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Now Baby Penguin is all alone. He doesn't have his Kamehameha Gollum with him. Wh what will happen? <laughs> One can shock me here in the distance. Kamehameha Gollum. Well, let's see if his teammate, well, at least could have been teammate, will win this. Or will it be the Arapema whole... Oh my god, this is actually a little intense here. Once I press proceed, we will find out who the winner of Terraria Home Games 2 
actually is. And Arapaima overpowers Baby Penguin, killing him. Arapaima just killed Baby Penguin. Baby Penguin was just doing so much stuff throughout this entire thing. Just for Arapaima, the freaking person who won last time to come and kill him in the end. Arapaima is officially the first person to win more than one Hunger Game simulations. You have done it, Arapaima. You are now 2-0. and oh. Arapaima hasn't lost a single one yet. Well, everyone, you witnessed it here first. Arapaima is your first contestant to win more than one Hunger Games. And if you look at all these kills, I was right. Arapaima literally did absolutely nothing the entire game. And the only kill that he had was the baby penguin in the end. Baby penguin had more kills than the freaking winner. Surprisingly enough, if you look at everyone, no one really has that much kills. Actually, the person with the most kills was Gollum. When did that happen? And the almighty Tim had one kill. So anyways, I guess that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. So um, yeah, there was Monkey Mutts. There was the first person to win two times. That, that was that was insane Hunger Games. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, comment below if you want to see more Troy Hunger Games or whatever, uh, you know, what, what other sequel themes you want to see. And also new themes, and I will make the new themes most likely when I'm done with sequel month. So next week is, of course, another sequel, and I'm thinking it will be superheroes. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, you can comment below if you want to see that. I'm also thinking maybe a Minecraft. Minecraft might come on the fourth week, actually. Um, but yeah, what do you think I should do next week? I'm thinking superheroes. Uh, but yeah, you can comment below. Just, you know, let me know if that is what you guys want. Anyways, guess that is it for this video. Goodbye.